Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the video. This video is for everyone, I guess. But mainly it's for people who like to wear masks, horror masks. Uh, like at a haunted house or if you're doing appearances. I got this bag in here because it's kind of dented in right there. But this is a, kind of a tutorial on how to prepare a mask for wear. You know, a lot of people, people buy these and they collect them. And uh, they just use them for display. But there's actually people that use these for entertaining. And for appearances. And for haunted houses. And maybe you just, you know, for Halloween night. For contests or whatever. But the trick to being Michael Myers, for say, staying in character. You don't want to be pulling your mask off in front of everyone. But as you know, these can be unbearably hot to wear. Now this one here is my new mask. It's a Rob Zombie uh, murder mask. And I haven't done anything to it. I haven't done nothing to it. So we're just going to kind of go through the steps to make it a wearable mask. Because, like I said, you'll die wearing this thing from heat exhaustion. So basically what we do is we vent the mask. And I already looked, and look, you got the perfect little flap right here. So just by putting a hole here can... Uh, make a world of difference when it comes to wearing this sucker so that's all we're going to do we're just going to take a little kniff let's go ahead and break this off and get a new see it's one of unbreakable ones turn your head we've got a nice sharp edge and it couldn't be simpler just you know don't cut your fingers but you're just going to don't make it too small because you want this baby to breathe these hold all the heat in and if you know if you know you know and some people they just don't wear masks because they're so hot but a couple simple steps you do this with any mask and I've done it to my terrifier mask my Jason mask and all my Michael Myers masks. I got the classic paper towel mask holder. So there you go. That alone is going to be a big help. But you can even go farther than that. Because the more vent holes, the merrier, I'm telling you. Here's a second layer of hair. That was the first layer where I put the hole. This is the second flap, and we're going to put a slice right here. I'll try to do it on camera so you can see. There we go. You know these cheap knives. Once you get it opened. Now be careful. Don't be like me flinging this thing around. This is actually a good quality mask. Trick or Treat Studios murder mask. It's real thick. And, uh, you know, sometimes I paint masks or whatever. Alter them. But I think I've decided not to do anything with this mask except for make it wearable so I figure I'll do a tutorial on making masks more wearable see there you use a scissors and whatever you know just don't don't go gun ho on your fingers see there you go now we can 
keep on. Is there another layer? This might be going too far. I'm going to leave it like that. Just those two holes alone. Like I said, it's going to make a world of difference. And of course, we got to style the hair a little bit. You know, the hair on this mask ain't too bad. Just needs to be fussed with a little bit. But the look of the mask, it's got a good. It's got the classic uh, 78 Halloween 1 look. Even though it's uh, the Rob Zombie murder mask. I think they said they used the same mold for this mask as they did the original Halloween mask. So the other thing I want to do, because it's wearable, it's a working mask. We'll call this a working mask. We got the vent holes in. We want to get rid of this tag. Halloween. Halloween. Rob Zombie Halloween mask. Okay. Studios stamp in there. Can you see it? Uh, I got the L Rod mask. Yeah, that's a good mask, except for it's so small. You can't even breathe in the sucker. And then I got the 78 Trick or Treat, Trick or Treat Studios mask. And it's a good mask, except for it's too big. This one here, I seen it. I thought, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get another mask. Now, I'm a fan of Halloween one and two. Not a big fan of the, of the uh, Rob Zombie movies, but since when this was the same mold as the '78 version, I figured I'd give it a try. And uh, man, this baby fits like a glove. I'm gonna be wearing this sucker in a couple weeks. All right, it fits me perfect. Of course, I have to tweak it out, the hair a little bit. But man, I mean, it's now the back. You could Velcro the back. This one here fits so good. I don't even know if I want to Velcro the back of this one. But I did Velcro the back of the 78 mask because it was so big. Well, this one here, man, it fits so good. I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you how I would do it if I was going to do it to this mask. I'm not going to. But, you know, a lot of these masks don't fit, and this kind of helps. And I just use... This uh, Velcro strip, and I'm going to use about four inches of it. About four inches of Velcro strip. And it's already got adhesive on it. It's pretty strong. But what I would do is. Uh, Basically, we put this side here. Put this side right here. Take this side and put it on the inside of this side. And then when you're ready to close this baby up, it's on your head. There you go. It's going to help hold it tighter. Or, if you really need a lot of adjustment, 
You know, they can get crazy and go this way with it. That way, you can really adjust if you need to. But either way, you get the idea. And if that adhesive ain't good enough, use some trusty E6000. Can't go wrong. So there you go. Like I said, this is a tutorial to tell you how to get it ready for use. Actual use. So yeah, I'm going to be wearing a sucker. I wore the uh, 78 version that I repainted. I wore it the last two times, the last two years. For the uh, Witch's Brew walk that I'm involved with. But I think this year I'm just going to use this mask. I'm not going to paint it. Nothing. There we go. Trick or Treat Studios, Michael Myers, Murder Mask, Rob Zombie. With new vent holes for your wearing pleasure. Okay. Over and out. It's a good mask. I mean, look at that sucker. It's that side profile I really like. All right. 12-minute video.